Welcome to Duchess Bernie. Where is Sweetie? Yes, we have Queen Whittle. Look at her. She's got her little crown on that certifies that she's a queen. And here's Duchess Bernie. Wait, wait what's a Duchess again? Oh, that just means that I'm the princess. Boy Boy says he doesn't remember. Boy Boy Knight in Shining Armor says that he doesn't remember either. But Boy Boy, sa Boy, Boy, Boy Knight in Shining Armor says that he also isn't sure if that's it or not. All the royal people introduce themselves. Did Widow find a ginormous box? Looks like Widow found a ginormous jewelry box. Wait. Does this, does this mean, does this mean for me get a room? No, I think, I'm thinking that Queen Whittle is getting a castle. But, Duchess or Princess Bernie or whatever she is today, and Boy Boy Knight in Shining Armor are going to also live here as well. There's going to be a mini castle. Boom, let's get started now. Bernie's right, I need to get started now. Okay, so we did do a few other rooms, like we did Devin's room and Stella, oh, no, not Stella, sorry, Summer and Caroline's room. I get kind of mixed up with them sometimes. So we're going to be using a jewelry box. I found this at a garage sale once. Um, yeah, it's I used it's been used a lot. We had to duct tape this door because it fell off. And I'm not starting to notice that this side is starting to come off. So, um, you can use a jewelry box for this. If I don't know if you have the same jewelry box. But you can use any jewelry box or any box that, like, opens like this. Because you would just have to decorate a little differently. And have a little different, uh, different spots where you put all the paper for decoration. So, let me tell you what we need for this project. For this project, of course, you need your lovely jewelry box. You need a sheet of light pink construction paper and a sheet of this like dark purple construction paper it's not too dark though you also need a piece of plain white paper it doesn't really matter if there's something on the back i mean this is like a coloring sheet thing you'll need scissors painters painters tape so then like your stuff can come back off pencil and eraser i have any i have like this clickable eraser like a pen and like you choose how much eraser you would like out Especially because on my pencil I use all the time, that's like, there's a cap for your eraser. And it gets kind of annoying because, like, you forget there's a cap and you just, like, erase. And it's like, nothing's erasing. That's because there's a cap. I also need a clip. You also need a, a clipboard or a hard surface. Look at all the sprinkles on mine. There's so many sprinkles. It makes me want to eat a donut. Like, just like a zoom-up picture. A really zoomed-up picture on, like, a strawberry donut. And, like, just look at all the sprinkles. I'm hungry now. Wait, can't get too hungry. Gotta still do this craft. Oh, we're now going to open up our box. The doors on mine are magnetic. And on this side, there's a ring that sticks to the magnetic parts in the other door. So, you just use the magnets to fold them. Okay, I have it like this because there is a big mirror in there. So our first, you see, you can see part of it. Um, I'm first going to c um, cover up the mirror because like, you know, I don't really like, I try to stay away from mirrors. So, um, we're going to uh, take some paper. We're going to take pink, the pink construction paper. I'm going to try and like trace area, like kind of measure it. Too much measure, but kind of like um, get the shape drawn with your pencil and then cut it out. Top of the box and putting this on top right above where your mirror is and line this up with the other, with um, where it ends and then go over to the other side and then mark it with your pencil line it up with it there and then just try and trace it all the way to the back of the box huh. okay it was really hard trust me it was hard so like on the back of the box i did kind of struggle a little 
with like trying to keep my pencil on it. So I'm gonna try my best and cut it out now. Good! Now we're going to make sure it fits. Just push it in. Extension. You have to tape it in there because it, it was kind of a struggle to get it out. Tried about this much for now, but if it's too big, I'm going to trim it. So I'm going to try and use some painter's tape and attach it on the back. I don't think it actually looks too odd. I had a little extra tape at the top, so that might just help. Um, might just get a little stuck to stuff, so if you want, you can probably trim it. It works. It was just a tiny bit too big, but it just goes up on the wall, and that's a little less paper we'll need for later. I love it. And cut it out. Times. So you end up with four wall pieces. Now take the first one and put it over the mirror. Or, um, like, if you, like, whatever jewelry box you're using, you may not have the same one. So you'll just have to work and, like, maybe cut more paper, um, have different lengths. But for me, I need to cover the mirror with that one wall piece. Here we go. Um, I don't think we're going to attach any more of the wall pieces. I just wanted to get the mirror piece out of the way. These three off to the side in a pile where you won't lose them. I don't think I'm going to do the ceiling on it. I think I'm just going to do the floor and the other two walls. Okay, we've got all these drawers that'll work perfectly to store Whittle stuff in or to have Whittle sleep in. The top, yes, is filled with twisty pet parts. So I want to somehow incorporate I, or I could probably, I think I'm just gonna get a bag to store these in. I know I have a bag of twisty pet parts to save for a day when maybe we could possibly try and create a twisty pet or two. I have this random Barbie rug in there. Maybe I'll use it. This thing should be cleaned out. Um, we got this little area in here that we're probably going to have to cover in wallpaper as well. And there too. We also have some drawers. I don't think we're going to cover them in wallpaper. I think we're just going to use them as little places that Whittle can do stuff in. I just want to like store the kitties in here. I think I'm going to use some blue paper. I already did cut the size of the drawer. And then color with all various shades of blue. I use blue markers. And then just try and shove it in here. Now, I already put it in to make sure it would fit. But now, we have a pool for Whittle to swim in. Your kitty castle. Although I did color a little sloppily, but that's because, you know, I just wanted to make it look like it's moving all over the place. Left, so I'm thinking I'm just going to cut this to be like a little rectangle. This, fold it in half, make sure to have a really good crease. Draw a heart in the crease line there. Not over here, otherwise it's not going to work. Cut it out, cut out both the sheets together. When you open the big sheet, it looks like a heart. And when you unfold the smaller piece, it looks like another heart. Move this piece over to like a little scrap area. And then you have a little heart that we could place on the pool drawer. Oh, there's a heart. Cut it in two. Then cut them out. One, two, three. Fold them all in half. Really good creases. Put hearts in them and cut them out. Now we have three hearts, so I tape each heart to each of the drawers. It's on each of the drawers, so they're a little more decorative for the castle. Now we're going to use a purple plate of paper and trace the inside of the doors. Now it fits the door. Trace it again and cut it out again so you have paper for both doors. Now you can put these in the pile with the pink pieces. And now we have the purple out. Eight square rectangles. It doesn't really matter too much what size they are. As long as they're big enough to fold in half, draw half of circles, cut them out, and you'll get circles. Okay, I cut the circle, I cut the circles, and made two of them bigger so that they can be taped onto the biggest drawer, and now I'm going to tape all of them. Then we have decorative drawers. Got all of them taped on. Some of the tape came off of my head because they're like just so small, so you'll just have to be a little cautious of all that tape. Um, on the big circles, it really worked out well. But now we have like these little decorated drawers that'll make it a little more pretty in Whittle's mini palace. I'm not gonna use paper in this area over here. I just, I mean, we'll be okay with this here. Cause I mean, maybe it's just like, maybe it's kind of like little shelves or storage area. Because um, um, we kind of ran out of paper and I just, we're going to have all these doors 
purple, so I'm, I hope it can still close. But um, we're going to just leave this. There's like a little, little thing. Look like a little buckle thing, and I don't know where the actual buckle it attaches to is. Oh, there you go. See, it's on the ceiling there. It's wallpaper time. We're not going to do the three pink walls yet because those are going to be harder to get like details on. So we're just going to cover the doors only on the inside. I mean, you can do the outside if you want, but I'm only doing the inside since that's the most visible spot. Tape side first. This one does not have a ring on it. Like this side. You're just going to need to put tape. I usually like to roll up my tape. So for example, I like to go with the side that isn't sticky the side is sticky as you can see my fingers are sticking to it then I hard with the camera okay there you go ah, there you go then I roll it up and it's a little sticky roll now this is a little too small usually they're a little bigger I just have a really small piece we ended up putting nine rolls of tape on here there you go you have one purple door okay the purple door okay we're going to need to take a little of this, we're going to need to bend this a little. Magnets don't really work with the paper, so it's not going to be able to close anymore. Now it closes a little better because we still have the doors to be able to close. Now this one isn't really staying that well. I think it might be because of all the extra tape there. But we're going to end up covering that one with paper too. This time I tried to stay clear of the magnets, so hopefully it'll stay a little better. And I only put five. Fortunately, it doesn't really close up because of the paper. So you might have to take these off and, like whenever you close it and just put them on the side. So it might need new tape often. Because it really doesn't close. But it looks really nice. Okay, I took four of the little scraps from cutting all those little circles. And I think I'm going to decorate this room using them as like covering up the duct tape maybe with a little of these. Oh, perfect. I like the little pieces. They look like little flags since I only taped one side. So you have a whole bunch of little kitty flags there. Cause I don't want to cover that. And it looks really nice white. Especially like the doors are already purple, so don't make that purple. And now we have our pull-out pool. And we have all these little mini drawers decorated. Now we're going to make a few wall decals. Now we're going to design some Kitty Kingdom banners. Here they are, not in color. Here's how they look in color. Now I need to try and cut them out. We've got them both cut out. I tried my best to make them the same. Now we have two of our kitty banners and we're probably just going to hang them up there. Now we have two walls with royal kittiness. Okay, I had to use little pieces of tape to attach it at the top, which looks okay. I mean, it looks like maybe the end of the strings there. So now we've got these two kitty kingdom banners. I'm going to draw a, oops, on the back. I'm going to draw a large square or rectangle, whichever you choose. Here we go, we have this small window that'll work perfect for Whittle's Castle. I usually don't record myself doing the steps because, you know, cutting is hard to do with a camera. So now we have our Whittle window. It's pretty nice back there. So, and it's going to fit back there, so it's going to be a perfect window. So I was going to have, um, decorate the floor, but I think I'm going to need to trim it because you see this part. So how about we do this? I'm going to fold, oh, come down, to fold over what we need to cut. So we have like this really big crease one spot. We're going to cut that off. Oh, it fits. I chopped some off. So now we're going to make little tiny like W's if I can hold on to my paper because this is going to be the floor if we, and we want to make it look fuzzy pretty fuzzy to make sure that this stays we're just going to, need to put one not too much the floor window flip it over it and then you need to stick it right around the middle of the back wall like that. I mean, too, I'm pretty sure they'd be okay down there. But, like, on the side, we're going to need to fold it and cut it. I also trimmed a little off the bottom. So, now it fits. Well, two. Then you'll have to attach that one in as well. Okay, there. Now we have just this part done. So, I hope you... There's going to be a part two 
where we are furnishing the house. Here we are just building because it took a while. It's like a 14 minute video or longer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And do not miss any more videos from r, &R or any more or part two of Whittle's Cas Jewelry Box Castle. We'll see you in my next video. Bye! I'll see you there in part two where we will finally decorate.